good morning and uh, welcome to the second part of our journey and if in case you have watched the first part thanks once again for watching that so today we are going to experience the entire day two of uh, chennai rajdhani express and it started with uh, the morning tea which i'll show you just right now and uh, we are heading actually towards ballar shah because nagpur as you see in the first part is uh, in the morning so that's the morning tea which they provided and that's basically a biscuit mary biscuit and a tea and uh, we are head now finally reaching ballar shah junction this is the next halt this is a train uh, heading to jaipur coming from south of india and it is also before time and surprisingly our train is also reaching before time and again here our train is uh, reaching more than 15 minutes before time the scheduled arrival time is at 8 o'clock but our train is uh, reaching almost like by 7:45 kind of a same scenario as it was in nagpur ballar shah is very important for its power plant it is located very close to the vardha river it is also very important uh, with respect to the railway staff change because the loco pilot guard uh, changes over here so after the departure from the station we will be meeting the legendary grand trunk express popularly known as gt express gt express uh, is uh, a train which was started during the british era to connect chennai to delhi and it is uh, one of the trains which is preferred by many people even today it has lot of faults so right after this particular meeting we will be heading towards vardha river bridge and this is this bridge is very close to ballar shah junction it looks very beautiful especially if you come from south that is uh, from the south direction chennai rajdhani express has dynamic fare system so please be aware of uh, the pricing because it increases as per the availability and the demand so very soon after we cross this bridge uh, like around 8:30 uh, they were serving the breakfast and the breakfast i preferred was the non veg category as you can see it has omelet and uh, little bit bean beans this is the juice which is provided there is also a sauce sachet a butter sachet a bread which wasn't appearing to be very fresh this particular tea packet was little bit better than the red one i i preferred this one a little more the red one wasn't tasting good at all they also provided the second bottle of water so right around like 10:20 we crossed uh, the legendary bengaluru rajdhani now we are going to cross one of the very big bridges uh, that is uh, on godavari river and this particular bridge is uh, majestic and if you see from any direction like right now what you are seeing is towards the west side but if in case you see towards the east side also it looks very beautiful especially if the climate is very clear this river is one of the biggest river in india and especially in south of india and the particular river starts from the nasik city which is a very famous city and even if you are travelling by train you can see a very small bridge near nasik too many stops and starts due to the track work and other issues might be the train finally reached with lot of delay at warangal and uh, we reached here by almost uh, 45 minutes late so that was a big delay this is a very big city this particular city is also very close to secunderabad hyderabad as we call it uh, and uh, also to kasipet city so the locality is also very nearby and uh, if in case you get down over here for any other train then you won't be getting the lunch provided on day 2 lunch is provided only for passengers going to vijayawada and this is the lunch which was provided it uh, had a decent packaging like as uh, all the previous uh, food items were what it was given is the same this is the sweet dish uh, that is gulab jamun and uh, after opening quickly as you can see this is gulab jamun this is the curd 
chicken i prefer the non veg one on this journey dal and rice and along with two paratha the taste was better than what it was uh, the previous night and there is a pickle also provided and a uh, small pouch of salt as uh, i was having the lunch uh, we happened to cross uh, the chennai garibrat one of the most preferred trains also between chennai and delhi due to its uh, economical fare one of the trains in which i want to travel definitely and then we finally reach uh, vijayawada junction one of the biggest and the most busiest junction of india this particular city is located on the banks of krishna river which i'll show you later here our train was also late and our train actually covered a bit of time as against what it was 45 minutes late here it was uh, around 15 20 minutes late only so this particular junction uh, vijayawada is very important in terms of uh, connecting towards the east part that is many trains instead of going towards nagpur they also prefer to go towards uh, calcutta via visakhapatnam and they change the track from here also this city is also very important uh, for state of uh, andhra pradesh this particular city is very close to amravati which is uh, actually the so called capital of uh, andhra pradesh correct me if i'm wrong here the train halts for a good amount of time because uh, cleanliness of uh, toilet and the coach is done over here and uh, even the refill of water is done over here so this is officially like the last halt of our train because from here onwards the train does a non stop run to chennai and it doesn't halt anywhere the train runs uh, from this particular station to chennai for almost 6 hours it can actually take a little bit less time but um, they have kept uh, the railway officials have kept a buffer of times for like uh, managing the delay due to track management or any other reason after this particular station's departure i'll be showing you the majestic krishna river bridge again that is also a very beautiful bridge this entire city gets water from that particular bridge itself so there it is there is also a very big barrage created nearby for the management of water flow So around uh, five o'clock, uh, they had been provided uh, the evening snacks to every passenger, and uh, you can clearly see the difference in the previous uh, day's uh, evening snack and this one. There is an extra sweet dish, and the kachori looks better, and there is a tomato sauce also. Now this is a part where I wanted to highlight is uh, the flood which has happened in 2021. it was a very major loss to many people and one can really see that the fields are still flooded with water this water is not from uh, the normal monsoon season this video was of this journey i had done in uh, december and one can really see the effect of uh, flood which has happened in andhra pradesh and uh, tamil nadu so here we are uh, overtaking krishna express and this particular train is a passenger kind of train even though an old train this is a station i think named kawali here the train is running very fast but there were many stops uh, halts because or in slow down because of track work and around uh, 7:45 they had served uh, the dinner to everyone overall i was very disappointed with the catering staff especially for my coach because even this particular dinner didn't tasted that great and uh, they were like uh, doing the delay in providing stuff to people for reasons known to them even the quantity and quality overall wasn't that great but hopefully in further journeys uh, maybe irctc might provide a better thing if in case you want to complain you can always do it to rail min india through twitter and uh, we are finally reaching our destination 
this is chennai central our train is now reaching around like uh, 10 minutes late so after all the delays earlier in the start of journey and then covering up and reaching before time and then again late overall i can say the punctuality was okay enough means uh, as per rajdhani standard it should have been bang on time but sadly it wasn't that day and uh, i'll show you the other side of the platform also this is platform number 1 there you can see there is the ac double decker which can be seen coming from bengaluru and halted at chennai central so i hope you liked my this vlog and i completed almost all the details uh, and if in case you have any questions or any suggestions please do comment and also please provide any feedback or any recommendation which you would prefer me to do the journey Uh, through the comment section and I'll definitely try to cover that particular train or mode of transport also so thank you once again for watching the entire video and uh, please make sure to subscribe for further more details and updates about my journey if in case you haven't followed me on instagram i am on instagram also so do make sure to follow me through instagram also so that you could be updated This is Adil signing off for now and uh, see you in my next journey cheers and have a wonderful and safe life